Welcome back and welcome to your Pilates for Runners workouts. Today we are going to be specifically focusing on flexibility and mobility. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but I absolutely love running, especially in the trails. I love being in nature and I love being in creation. So today we are going to be focusing on improving the flexibility of those muscles that we need when we are running so we can just spend more time out there in those beautiful trails. We're going to be starting in an all fours position in the center of our mat. We're going to tuck those toes in under our feet and just making sure that our knees are in line with those hips, hands are comfortably under those shoulders. We need to take a deep inhale. And as we exhale, we are slowly rounding that spine up towards the sky. Deep breath in, exhale, opening that chest. Coming back to neutral as we lift our legs up into downward dog this first one will be a little bit hard to get into if it's your first one so don't worry we are going to work towards straightening those legs dropping those knees lifting that spine towards the sky inhale exhale opening coming back to neutral then lifting those glutes up towards the sky as you draw your head through those arms so that's the movement we're going to do a few more of these as before we progress into our other mobility flows coming back to neutral lifting yourself up dropping those knees deep breath in exhale rounding that spine inhale exhale opening that chest inhale coming back to neutral exhale lifting those hips up towards the sky deep breath in coming back into all fours rounding that spine opening that chest and coming back to center lifting into that downward dog we're going to stay here and i want you to just slowly draw your head through those arms and taking some deep inhales and as you exhale i want you to try and lean deeper into that downward dog if you can you can drop those heels into the ground and you're rotating that pelvis up towards the sky deep breath in exhale Lean into that downward dog, deep breath in, rolling yourself into front support position, then coming back up into downward dog, then rolling forward. So we just using the movement of our spine to go from downward dog into front support and allowing that pelvis to also move as we work and rolling forward last one coming back into that downward dog and now we're just alternating our feet as we bend and extend our legs just pushing those heels into the ground pushing both heels into the ground we're just going to hold here now slowly walking your hands towards your feet we're just going to hover here allow that top part of your body to become heavy just leaning into that stretch now oh, deep breath in exhale rolling yourself all the way up bringing arms up towards the ceiling and now grabbing your opposite elbows overhead deep breath in exhale lift that left elbow towards the ceiling inhale come back to center Exhale, lift that right elbow towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to do three of these on each side. And as you lift your elbow, just try and lean that opposite leg more down into the ground if you can do that. So you really want to lengthen through that side body. Remembering to inhale as you come back to center. Exhale as you go to the left or the right. Sucking navel to spine. Slowly coming back to center, lifting arms down and up and around, reaching arms overhead and lifting chest to ceiling. Inhale, exhale, slowly coming all the way back down, walking your hands back into that front support position and then leaning back into downward dog. You're going to lift that right leg up towards the sky 
we're going to hold here and three-legged downward dog then we're going to bend that right knee and slowly rotating those hips to stack those hips and trying to get that right leg over and onto the other side if you can now we're going to lift your hips up towards the sky activating that left glute and now reaching that um, right hand over towards the opposite back corner we're just going to hold here you're activating that right glute while you experience a deep stretch into those hips and into that side body deep breath in slowly pivoting yourself back as you rotate that left foot back onto your toes and lifting yourself back into that three-legged downward dog now you're tucking that right knee up towards your chest you're going to hold here as you push yourself away from the floor allowing that stretch into the shoulders holding here feeling that activation in that tummy and into those quads deep breath in exhale extend coming back to that chest and now slowly extending that right foot onto that left side through those arms now here depending on your flexibility you can either stay here you should feel a stretch all the way down that leg down that side ITB going right into those shins if you want you can lift that left arm up towards the sky or if you want a deeper stretch you can bring that left arm to center as you lift that right arm to the sky and this should really just intensify that stretch going all the way down those that right side of your leg. Keep holding here, rotating from the level of that spine, looking up towards the sky. Inhale, coming back down and slowly lifting that right leg back up into three-legged downward dog. Now we're slowly going to tuck that foot in, placing it between our hands, lifting arms up towards the sky as you drop that back left knee I'll keep holding here deep breath in exhale placing both hands on the mat and extending that front leg inhale exhale coming back into that lunge position with the knee on the mat leaning into that front knee placing hands back on the mat and extending and we're going to do a few more of these, so keep working. Keep breathing as we're going. And we're going to hold in this position. We're going to extend that front leg. And now, if you can, just lift that top heel. And we're slowly going to rotate that right shoulder up towards the sky again. This is increasing a beautiful stretch down the top of the glute all the way down the side. So try and extend that gaze towards the ceiling behind. If you can't do that, just look down and in front. And if you need a block or something to hold on with that left hand, that's okay too. Try and keep that front toe pointing and completely on the mat. Keep holding. And again, now let's try to rotate a bit more, keeping those hips square as you lift up, deep breath in, bringing arms back down onto the mat. Now, leaning forward, lifting those arms up towards the sky as you lean into that front knee. And we're just going to hold here, deep breath. Just leaning into that front knee, allowing Beautiful stretch into that left hip flexor. Keep holding, trying to extend that back as you lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Now slowly coming back, stacking that vertebra. And we're going to lift arms up towards the sky. Now dropping that left hand to grab that left heel and reaching and lengthening through that right side of the body as you bring that left heel towards that left glute and leaning forward and again go as far as you feel that you need to as as you feel comfortable you don't want to push through pain 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward as we extend or kind of extend that back leg, leaning into that front knee. Then coming back into stacking as we bring that heel towards your glute. Now releasing that heel away from the glute as you lean into that right knee, opening that chest. And we're going to do a few more of these. Keep going. And lifting that left arm up towards the sky, dropping that back foot, placing both hands onto the mat, tucking that left toe under your, your left toes under your feet, lifting that right leg up towards the sky and then coming back into three-legged front support position, dropping down into a push-up and lifting yourself up into upward facing dog. Now slowly rolling yourself back. Try and keep your toes um, on the mat. Don't put them into your normal downward dog position of your toes. You want to try and stretch out those toes. So we're just going to push those heels into the ground. I mean, push those feet into the ground and those toes, which will allow a stretch down the front part of your shin. Then we're going to roll forward. If this is too uncomfortable for you, you don't have to lift as high or you can just bring your toes into that normal position. But we just want to stretch out those front part of our feet. Let's do one more. Now slowly bringing those toes into that normal position, pushing down into downward facing dog. Now lifting that left leg up towards the sky. Deep breath in, exhale, holding here. Tucking in that knee towards that chest, pushing yourself away from the mat. Stabilizing with those shoulders. Keep holding. Deep breath in. Exhale, lifting your legs up, your right left leg up towards the sky. And now slowly bringing it up and around, stacking those hips, bringing that glute, those heels towards the glute. And now slowly lifting your hips up towards the sky as you activate that left glute, extending left arm overhead and taking your gaze over the direction of the left hand. Keep holding here, allowing that activation to that left glute as you lift those hips up. Deep breaths. While slowly pivoting yourself back up and extending that left leg up into three-legged downward dog. Deep breath in, exhale, bringing that left foot in between your hands, dropping that back knee as you lift your arms up towards the sky, bringing chest to ceiling, inhale, exhale, placing hands on the mat as you extend that front foot, lifting that right heel behind you and opening that chest, slowly coming back down and lifting and lifting those that chest back up inhale coming back onto the mat as you extend and lifting those arms up and now placing those hands back onto the mat extending that leg and now if you can you're going to rotate that left shoulder up towards the sky and you're going to hold keep holding again if you need to you can place your hand a little bit higher or place your hand on the block just really want you to focus on rotating yourself on the level of that waist and pushing that left glute up towards the sky just holding deep breaths inhaling and exhaling and coming back to center dropping that back leg and lifting that right heel towards 
the glutes as you grab that right ankle with that right hand lifting that left arm up towards the sky and again we're going to lower that heel as you extend or half extend that right knee now bring that heel towards that glute as you lean into that front knee and and release and extend and release and extend and last one we're going to hold here leaning into that front knee just allowing that quad to stretch out keep holding now dropping that right foot lifting that right arm up towards the sky leaning into that front knee allowing that right hip flexor to stretch out keep holding deep breaths now slowly dropping that those hands onto the mat lifting your left leg up towards the sky now tucking it in and extending it towards the in between part of your legs and hands and slowly holding here again if you do feel like you're already happy here in this position you can stay here or you can lift your right shoulder towards the sky or if you want more of a stretch you can lift your left shoulder towards the sky you're just gonna hold here enjoying that stretch into that side part of that left leg keep holding keeping your gaze looking up towards the ceiling inhale and exhale coming back to center lifting that left leg up to three-legged downward dog lowering it down into three-legged front support position coming down into a push-up now slowly lifting yourself up into upward facing dog keeping your knees off the floor you're going to take an inhale exhale open to look over your right shoulder inhale center open to look over your left shoulder inhale center and we're going to do a few of these just allowing movement in that spine and into that tummy and into those hip flexors now slowly coming back into the downward dog walking your hands towards your feet and just letting your head fall over towards that mat deep breath in exhale halfway lengthen inhale slowly come back down walking your hands back towards front support position coming down into push-up then lifting yourself up into upward facing dog and now slowly dropping your knees onto the mat and coming all the way down bringing your chest onto the mat we're going to bend that right knee and i want you to first just resting your forehead on your left hand you're just going to draw your heel towards your glute and just lifting that knee deep breath now you're going to point your toes and you're going to activate that right glute as you open that chest and draw that foot up towards the sky so you should feel a stretch into that chest into those quads and those hip flexors while you have an activation into that glute keep holding deep breath extending right leg and right arm dropping right hand resting your forehead on your right hand as you bring that left heel towards your left glute lifting those knees and just holding deep breaths deep breath in exhale extending the toes up towards the sky as you open that chest now we're going to do the same thing with both legs after this so just prepare for that deep breath exhale dropping that knee bending that right knee and we're just going to start 
with bringing those heels your glutes. Keep holding, activating those glutes to lift those knees, keeping those knees together. Now deep breath, exhale, lifting those toes up towards the sky as you open that chest. Gonna hold here, deep breaths, keep holding, inhale and exhale. Go for another five, four, three, two, one, slowly dropping down and extending your legs, placing your hands onto the mat as you lift yourself up into upward facing dog. Coming back down into downward facing dog. Now lifting your right leg up into three legged downward dog, tucking it in and then placing it by your hands and slowly lowering yourself down into pigeon pose. Try and keep your knee in a 90 degree angle, but if you struggle, you can bend that heel towards that groin so you can manage. You're going to lift arms up towards the sky and slowly dropping yourself down, bringing that chest towards your shin. Just holding here, extending those arms out. Just really embracing, keeping those hips square and allowing those glutes to just stretch out. Deep breaths. Slowly walking your hands back up, lifting your arms up towards the sky. Deep breath in. Exhale, placing hands onto the mat, tucking your toes in under your left foot, lifting that right leg back up into three-legged downward dog, dropping that right leg, lifting that left leg up, tucking it in towards that chest as you place it on the mat, just below your feet and leaning down, lifting arms up and slowly bringing that chest all the way down towards that mat. Again, if you want, if you're struggling with range of motion, you can tuck that foot in, otherwise try and keep that 90 degree. I do struggle with my left leg. It's a lot tighter. The glutes, the hamstrings, all of it is just a lot tighter. So my range of motion is a lot less in this leg. Just extending those arms forward. Deep breaths. Now slowly walking your hands up and lifting those arms up towards the sky. Placing your hands onto the mat and slowly Lifting that left leg up into three-legged downward dog and dropping both feet onto the mat, pushing both heels into the ground and really focusing on rotating that tailbone up towards the sky. Deep breath and just enjoy the stretch. And if you want to, you can just walk those legs out again. Pushing those heels into the ground, slowly walking those toes towards those hands and bending those knees to come into a seated position. And we're going to place the right foot over left knee and we're going to open our chest towards the right hand side as you look over that left, that right shoulder, as you bring your left shoulder over that right knee. Depending on where you tight your feel, beautiful stretch, either in your neck, in your glutes, or in your side body. Just make sure that your shoulder isn't going towards your ears. And we're going to change over, tucking that right foot under that groin as you lift your left foot over and then rotate. And just holding. So what a, few, a lot of runners forget the importance of mobility and stretching. We tend to think or find that we're going to be more productive if we spend all our time on the road, getting distance, being in the trails. But if you are intentional and focus on these mobility routines, these stretching routines, you'll find that it's so much more pleasant being in the trails. Coming back to center and just placing your feet in a crisscross position, lifting arms up towards the sky, deep breath in, exhale, placing your hands onto the mat and leaning forward. 
and you will be amazed by the improvement and the performance that you will get after doing a little session like this, just a few minutes, walking your hands towards that left corner and just leaning into your right ribs, keeping both sits bones on the mat. Now slowly walking towards the other side, same thing. Slowly coming back to center, rolling yourself up, lifting arms up towards the sky and placing your hands on your knees. Thanks for joining me on the mat. I really enjoyed that session and I hope that it will bring you the improvement and the freedom that you want to enjoy that time in those trails and when you're running. Sending lots of love and I will see you soon. If you enjoyed that workout, we have a full seven day Pilates for runners workout challenge. If you haven't already seen it, I have included a link in the description below if you'd like to go head over and check it out. See you there.